Shofetim, Judges 4. And the children of Yasharael again did evil in the sight of Yahuwah, when Ehud was dead. And Yahuwah sold them into the hand of Yavin, king of Canaan, that reigned in Chetzor, the captain of, the, of whose host was Sizara which dwelt in Chasoreth of the other nations. And the children of Yasherael cried unto El Yahuwah, for he had nine hundred chariots of iron, and twenty years he mightily oppressed Eth, the children of Yasherael. And Deborah, a prophetess, the woman of Lapidoth, she judged Eth, Yasharael at that time. And she dwelt under the palm tree of Deborah between Ramah and Beit El in Mount Ephraim. And the children of Yasharael came up to her for judgment. And she sent and called Barach the son of Avinoam, out of Kadesh Naphtali. And she and said unto him, Has not Yahuwah Elohai of Yashara'el commanded, saying, Go and draw toward Mount Tabor, and take with you ten thousand men of the children of Naphtali and of the children of Zebulun? And I will draw unto you the river of Kishon, Eth Sizara, the captain of Yavin's army, with Eth his chariots, and Eth his multitude, and I will deliver him into your hand. And Barach said unto her, If you will go with me, then I will go. But if you will not go with me, then I will not go. And she said, I will surely go with you, notwithstanding the journey that you take shall not be for your honor. For Yahuwah shall sell at Caesarea, rather Caesarea, into the hand of a woman. And Deborah arose and went with Barach to Kadesh. And Barach called Eth Zevelin and Eth Naphtali to Kadesh. And he went up with ten thousand men at his feet. And Deborah went up with him. Now, Chever the Kani, which was of the children of Chavav, the father in law of Moshe, had severed himself from the Kedaim and pitched his tent unto the plain of Sa'ananim, which is by Eth Kadesh. And they showed Sisera that Barach, the son of Avi Noam, was gone up to Mount Tevor. And Sisera gathered together Eth all his chariots, even nine hundred chariots of iron, and at all the nations that were with him, from Chasotheth of the other nations unto the river of Kishon. And Deborah said unto Barach, Up, for this is the day in which Yahuwah has delivered at Sisera into your hand. Is not Yahuwah gone out before you? So Barach went down from Mount Tevor and ten thousand men after him. And Yahuwah discomfited Eth Sisera and Eth all his chariots and Eth all his host with the edge of the sword before Barach so that Sisera lighted down off his chariot and fled away on his feet. But Barach pursued after the chariots and after the host 
unto Chasareth of the other nations. And all the host of Sisera fell upon the edge of the sword, and there was not a man left. Howbeit Sisera fled away on his feet to the tent of Ya'el, the woman of Hever, the Keni. For there was peace between Yavin, the king of Chetzor, and the house of Hever, the Keni. And Ya'el went out to meet Sisera, and said unto him, Turn in, my lord, turn in to me, fear not. And when he had turned in unto her into the tent, she covered him with a mantle. And he said unto her, Give me, I pray you, a little water to drink, for I am thirsty. And she opened at a bottle of milk, and gave him drink, and covered him. Again he said unto her, Stand in the door of the tent, and it shall be, when any man comes and inquires of you, and says, Is there any man here? That you shall say, No. Then Ye'el, Chevez woman, took eth a nail of the tent, and took eth a hammer in her hand, and went softly unto him, and smote eth the nail into his temples, and fastened it into the ground. For he was fast asleep and weary, so he died. And behold, as Barach pursued at Sisera, Ya'el came out to meet him, and said unto him, Come, and I will show you at the man whom you seek. And when he came into her tent, behold, Sisera lay dead, and the nail was in his temples. So Elohim subdued on that day Eth Yavin, the king of Canaan, before the children of Yashara'el. And the hand of the children of Yashara'el prospered. And prevailed against Yavin, the king of Canaan, until they had destroyed Eth Yavin, king of Canaan. Chapter 2